Hello and welcome. Today I'm joined by the expert Matt Dixon, who I can only describe as my saviour, my personal saviour. I was I was introduced to Matt um, through my partner Sammy. Um, she had some challenges with YouTube on her website and to upload some videos and um, I suffered some similar challenges and Matt came in and I don't know how to explain the fact that he identified the problems before I did. He'd fix things before I even knew they were wrong and to consider him an expert um, is a bit of an understatement because the guy is an absolute legend when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to video marketing and when it comes to promoting yourself and marketing yourself online. So Matt, I want to say thank you for taking the time to speak to me today and, uh, and welcome. Thanks, Steve. Uh, pleasure to be here. Many thanks. No, I appreciate it. I really do. So I'm going to jump straight into the content. And the first thing I'm going to ask you is why? Why is it important for, not me, but for the viewers, why is it important to have video? Yeah, well, that's actually a really good place to start because um, what I find most interesting about video uh, and the reason that I'm in the space uh, so much myself, um, having operated online for a number of years, the biggest thing you hear in online marketing is really, obviously, you've got the conversion side and then you've got the traffic side. Okay, so generally with uh, you know businesses I deal with, they've got a problem on one side or the other. Either you know they're getting enough people to their website, but when they get there, they're not taking the right actions, um, or they're not getting enough people to their website in order for their website to do what it needs to do. So you know you, you hear people talk about traffic and conversion a lot. It's pretty kind of fundamental stuff. When video comes into play, um, what I find uh, really exciting about video is you can actually apply it as a solution to both of those areas. It doesn't just really fit into one category. So to explain what I mean by that, if I'm dealing with a client who has a website, um, one of the key messages I want to get across to them is that if they're not using video on their website, they're really missing a big trip there because video nowadays should really be front and center on your website. You know, it's such a powerful tool for engagement. You know, someone lands on your site um, and if you're able to hit them with a video straight away, just, uh, you know, ideally a person being filmed, so you're there in front of the camera. Um, explaining in a nutshell what your video is about, sorry, what your business is about, um, communicating that you understand their problems, offering a solution, which is basically what your business does, and then just suggest them what they can do next. It can be as simple as that. You know, here's here's what I'm about. Here's my business. I understand you're this probably you've probably got this kind of problem, which is why you're here. Uh, here's where you can find solutions to them. It's what we do. Um, what you can do next is go and look at this page or fill in your details, you know, get in touch, this kind of thing. Whatever you want your customers to do when they arrive at your website, you can use video to shortcut the whole process so they don't have to la they don't land there and have to start going searching, reading through all your content, trying to figure out what your business is about. It's almost like having, um, uh, let's say, a smartly dressed salesperson uh, greet people at the door in the shop and say, hi, you know, how can I help you? Uh, rather than just letting people walk in and sort of wander around, trying to figure out where they are. Uh, so you, you really elevate your website to a whole different level by incorporating video into it, you know, right at the start. Brilliant. That's a so, great analogy. I love that. Yeah, thanks. So, so that's the conversion side, obviously, because that's what you're trying to do on a website. It's convert right. your visitors into customers, ultimately. Um, um, on the traffic side, uh, where it's interesting is obviously when you talk about using video, you're generally talking about um, YouTube, uh, ideally. You're talking about um, getting your video out there and using it as a sales tool. Okay, so it's, it's, it's in a slightly different context to what we were just discussing um, uh, with, with having it actually on the website. You're getting it out there onto the web and you're, you ideally want your video to be out there promoting your business to people who might be interested in finding out about it who might be out there searching for something that your business can offer, but they don't yet know about your website or, or wherever it is you're operating, okay? So by putting together a video, um, again, you're going to have a slightly different um, focus in this kind of video because it's not going to be, hey, welcome to our business. It's going to be more along the lines of, you know, hi, this is what we do. You might be interested in finding out more about it. Why don't you come and visit our website? So it's almost like having a person out in the street with a banner you know, sort of the middle of Oxford Street saying, did you realise, you know, there's a discount jean shop down there, if you're looking for jeans, that's the way to go. If he wasn't there, a lot of these people are not even going to know your shop exists, okay? So it's a method of traffic generation. So if you can all, if you can put, um, if you can set up a video in the right way and then get it positioned in the right place online, it can sit there and act 
as almost like an advertising board or a traffic generation tool and bring a lot of traffic across to your website, which you you know you literally wouldn't otherwise have, while you're getting on with what you need to do in your business is running it, running your business as if you're running the shop, you know. So it's a whole different side of things, and um, where it gets particularly interesting there is uh, where where we can target videos not only to position them in YouTube, but also to position them in the search engines, obviously like Google, where you find if you can get to the top of Google, obviously you've got a huge amount of search traffic there. There's loads of people out there searching for things online. If you're able to take a video and position it at the top of Google, you're going to stand out against all those other search results, which are just text results, because you've got a video thumbnail showing up. And, you know, even more than that, once they click the video, they immediately start to see you and what you're about, and you've got that engagement factor there as well. So that really just covers the two. I hope it's not too uh, sort of long-winded, but it's just trying to explain um, two different areas so that it's clear to people. It's not just about getting the video. It's about how you use it in, what, in which context. And if you're using it in both of those different places, you're really kind of putting yourself ahead of the crowd. So. Fantastic. I think that's fantastic advice, and, and thank you very much. I mean, yeah. one of the one of, there's a few questions I have for you, and one of the ones that stands out most in my mind is, you know, when you talk about obviously having video and the importance of having video and then not just having video but what you do with that video i mean i've been to websites that have got some really poor quality videos that actually put you off when you first land on them so i think what you're saying there about how you interact with the customer as well is a very important uh, concept to remember that yes have a video but make sure you have a, a good video that's not only good in content but that's relevant that's relevant to what you're you're about and you mentioned about um about directing people around a home page um, I think that's great advice because people can come to your website and especially in this day and age where you know when we land on a website we want something and we want it instantly we don't want to have to wait we don't want to have to search we don't want to play play games we just want what we want and we want to get on with what we need to do so to yes. have that instantly available and to tell you where everything is I think is a great uh, a great tip thank you um, Thanks a big difference. I can imagine I can really imagine and, and, and a couple of the questions that I've got the first one is do we, do, would you have a video only on the home page or would you have video throughout your website? Um, well, that one really depends on your business. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it depends. If, you, if you're, It depends what kind of website you've actually got set up. I mean, is it, is it important to show people a lot more about what goes on within your business? Is it, is it a sort of customer-focused business? Uh, for example, um, we deal with, um, one point we deal with is into the property sector in commercial property. And a lot of what they do is about showing off the different buildings to people so that rather than actually having to come down and view the properties themselves and take time out of their day, they can almost, you know, they'll use video to do a walk around of a particular property so that interested buyers can really get a picture of exactly what it is and decide if it's, if it's of interest to them or not. So in that kind of scenario, they want to have as many videos as possible on their website showing off the different properties they're involved in. But, I mean, if you're, for example... Um, I mean, you you might be selling products on your on your site. Let's say if you're a garage and you've got um, you want to sell a lot of products for cars, car maintenance, that kind of thing. You really just want to introduce people to you know, let them know that you're a friendly kind of you know personable with a personal approach. You're there to help people. Tell them where they can go to find different bits and pieces, and just let them have a browse. You don't really need to show up in video regularly. Um, you know, only, only so it really just depends what you're actually trying to do online and what it is selling. Of course. Um, and another question I've got, which um, is something that uh, is something that was relevant to me, and I, I stumbled across this when I was when I was setting things up, is um, SEO. And when people talk about marketing themselves and how they um, how they can expose themselves online, what what part? And, and I know you briefly touched on this. What part of video uh, does? What part of, of video and SEO uh, when you integrate them together does that play in, in your marketing campaign? You know, when, when you look at, at, at promoting yourself and using video, um, it's not just about how people see you, but how the search engines see you. And how would you make sure that people get the best, um, the best results from their videos when they're, they're exporting them to things like Google and to YouTube and to, to other, other providers? Right, yeah, no, interesting, interesting area to touch on briefly. I mean, the, the whole, I, I used to do a lot of SEO myself. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I do, I've been into web development for a long time, as you know, uh, Steve, uh, something you obviously you do yourself. Um, I used to do a lot of SEO based around websites, and um, I I got into video um, 
initially through the SEO side where we were using video actually in YouTube and Google um, and we were using them to promote a website and also doing SEO on the website. And um, the realis realization we had, a sort of eureka moment, was that we were having a lot more breakthrough with the, with the videos than we were with the website. Um, it was a lot more controllable for us to actually position those videos in the search engines. And that's why we actually moved our business heavily into the area of video, because if, if it's more efficient for us, then it's more efficient for us to get a result, you know, clients, and it's more efficient for people, who, uh, you know, people at home that want to use video in their business and get into it. Um, it can be a much more efficient vehicle if you want to just get out there and get a piece of the action in your market and position yourself in a search engine rather than having to learn, you know, this, this SEO can be so detailed and complicated. Of course. The other key thing about it is it's changing all the time. And it's a whole different story if you're looking at Google SEO based on websites to when you're looking at the type of SEO you use for videos. Namely because, in a nutshell, Google owns YouTube and they're not going to penalise YouTube pages because they're shooting themselves in the foot. At least that's one school of thought on it. Um, to cut a long story short, that's how it is at the moment. It's a lot easier to position video than it is to position a web uh, a web page, for example. There's less to worry about and, and you're not going to get thrown all over the place as long as you do a few, a few key things the right kind of way. I think so. one of the things you've just touched on there, which is really important, is the fact that Google and um, YouTube now have this relationship, which is is the essence of why we, we connected in the first sense on this, because I was having this... Um, challenge for a better a choice of words on on the connection between the two and th there is some controversy online and people can can see when they search about the relationship with Google and YouTube and the pros and cons of that um, but I'm also aware that there's there's over 500 different providers for video hosting uh, in essence YouTube uh, there's Vimeo and there's Amazon s3 and a lot of other options so sure. Given the fact that YouTube and Google are so integrated now, would you only suggest people use YouTube or would you suggest people use other things? What would be your, your take on that? Um, I mean, the thing about YouTube is because it's one of the top three uh, sites, it's actually the second biggest search engine on the planet uh, behind Google. You know, you've got a huge amount of people on YouTube searching for videos. And again, this comes back to what kind of market you're in because they're not necessarily, you know... It's a, it, it's a tricky one. A lot of people are, the majority of searching happens on Google, okay, but for some um, niches, a lot of searching does go on on YouTube as well. Um, and also, what, what's great is you get all the YouTube results, the relevant results on the right-hand side of the page, which if you're watching a video about a certain subject, you're going to see them show up there. There is a huge amount more traffic on YouTube than there is on you know, a lot of these other search engines, but it doesn't mean that you discount them. Um, it just really comes back to what you're trying to do online. And for companies we deal with who are trying to get more exposure and really focus on the branding, we often talk about, we'll, we'll, we'll put a strategy together with them where, whereby they're trying to use, they're, they're using as many uh, different search engines as they can to really get the video out there and get as many people to see it as possible. But that's not so much about people are either trying to increase their branding, get more exposure, or they're really trying to target search traffic. If you're trying to target search traffic, you know, to be honest with you, the place to be is the top of Google. And YouTube is almost the route into that um, you know, because they're so closely tied together. So our focus a lot of the time is on YouTube, but it doesn't mean we rule out the other things. Of course. I appreciate that. So I suppose really if you're more, if it's more aesthetically pleasing on your website to use a, a different a different player, then maybe you would do that through um, through another another option. But for for ranking SEO and for the convenience of video, be able, being able to get it out to the masses, you're saying YouTube is definitely the way to go. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, it's the place to be. Yeah. Okay, um, one other point that I have that I'd like to touch on briefly is regarding the um, the length of the video. Now, I know when you um, when you create a video for your homepage, there's certain characteristics. For example, the audio to make sure you've got a good microphone, um, the lighting to make sure you're not too dark. Um, yeah. But something that doesn't really get touched on is what is what's the ideal length? If if I was to create a video for my homepage, what what is the target engagement? Yeah, I mean, again, that's an interesting question that a lot of people uh, ask, and there's a lot of talk. Uh, there's a fair bit about it, amount of talk about that in in the sort of video industry. Everyone's got an opinion on it. What you hear a lot of the time is that you need to keep your video as short and sweet as possible. And a lot of the time, uh, that is true, but it's not so much a hard and fast rule. 
because if you've got certain things you need to explain to people that are going to help them understand what you're telling them about, um, and it takes you three or four minutes to do that, you know, fair enough. As long as people are engaged in it and there's enough there for them to follow and latch on to and lead them where they need to go, then great. But I mean, um, generally speaking, the way that, the way things are, people are busy, they need busy lives, there's a lot going on online, you know, video is a form of social media like anything else. There's all kinds of things out there that people want to watch. If you can grab their attention and uh, get them, hit them with something interesting, exciting, um, and and use the video as a tool to, to get them to take an action and go somewhere else. That's the key thing. So the shorter time you can do that in, in the better, really. If you can do it in 30 seconds, then do it in 30 seconds. If it takes a minute, take a minute over it. But don't be afraid. If it does take longer, you know, you've got more to say to really get the point across, then do that. But the one thing you don't want to do is just kind of overdo you know, bore people with like the science about a product, you know, going into stuff they don't really need to know before they come and visit your site. Just keep it, you know, short and sweet to the keep, point. Keep it factual and keep it, keep it relevant. Yeah, especially if you're marketing online and you're targeting new markets and don't know who you are, you know, get their attention and get them to take an action and, and leave it there. Just do, do, do what you need to do to get them to take the action you need. Perfect. Well, that's amazing. I could... I could sit here all day and talk to you about this subject because there's things that there's things that I learn on a daily basis which I implement. Um, and I know one of the things regarding video which I was taught, which I thought was a valuable lesson, was to keep things. Um, sometimes um, I'm, I'm not referring to your homepage, but if you're doing other videos, to keep them slightly generic, in the sense that don't say point to this button that says that. Instead, just say point to this button. That way, if you ever change that button, right. you can change the website without changing the video. So. I always find it's look here, look there, that's fine, but don't tell them what they're looking at, just tell them to look, because if you tell them specifically and you ever want to change that, it, it makes it harder. So um, yeah. another thing that I, I, I really find interesting when it comes to video is, you know, do you do you create the video yourself or do you get somebody to do it for you? So okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hopefully, and I, I'm going to spring this upon you and I apologise for this, um, I'm going to invite people so they can connect with you and they can contact you. Um, oh, sure. And then fine. if people have got, because I know I've got a hundred more questions that I want to ask and I'm sure everyone else has as well. So if people want to connect yeah. with you on this and find out more about it, um, where, where's the best place for them to come to, to speak to you? Well, our main website is um, Internet Business Consultants um, and the web address, the URL is www.ibizconsult, which is I-B-I-Z and then the word consult.com. Dot com. And I'll post that underneath this video as well so people can see. Okay, yeah, you can read a bit about what uh, what we do there. And we, we have other sites as well that we use for video branding. We have a video brand called Video Flutes that we use as well. Um, we've got different pieces, bits and pieces going on there. We do get involved in video production in our company. Um, but really, um, you know, our focus and the, the place that we can add a huge amount of value is on the marketing side because we, we're from a marketing background. We understand SEO and the whole marketing side of things. And I'm happy to give people uh, that want to do this themselves, you know, hints and tips on what they should be doing, how they can improve um, their, their campaigns. Maybe it's a case of just tweaking a few little things that can get their videos into position and get them going. So more than happy if people want to get in touch and have a chat about video anytime. That's what we do. Perfect. Matt, from the bottom of my heart, I'm really, really grateful for your time tonight. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you can come back and share some more knowledge to us soon. You're welcome, Steve. Good to connect with you. Many thanks for the interview. Many thanks for your time. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.